Hi and welcome to the Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to take a look at Aussie Swiss and in particular um, the trade that we posted. Now always remember that when we do post these trades that you must, must take a look at these yourself um, and make the decision yourself. This is not something that we uh, use as a signal. This is just what we are looking to do in the market. So please do your own due diligence before you get involved with anything that we are looking to do ourselves, okay? Now, what I looked at was the potential for Aussie Swiss to bounce from these lows, and we looked at a 50% retracement trigger on the bullish engulfing candle. Now been triggered into the market, stops nicely tucked in below, and our first target is gonna be that 6660 area. That is a one-to-one -one risk to reward as price gets up to that point and takes that point out. I'll be closing 50% of the position down and letting the rest run. If it does run and hits targets, fantastic. If it doesn't, I'll be stopped for break even. And that's with every single trade idea that we look at. We look at closing the position out at one-to-one -one, or the majority of the position out at one-to-one -one, and then seeing if the rest runs. The reason why I'm looking at Aussie Swiss in particular, and I see some stuff over there, but just ignore that, uh, is essentially this low in here back in 2015. Um, and it's the first time we've tested that since 2015. So it's been a very long time since we've been this low on Aussie Swiss. Now, typically when the market comes into these type of major support zones, we get a reaction. So I'm looking for the retracement move in here. These are the previous weekly lows. We do have the 20 moving average just sitting above our target as well. So I'm expecting the market to push into the 20 moving average or at least got the weekly lows in there um, for our four targets to be hit. But that first target is going to be that 660, which coincides with these highs nicely in there. Um, so yeah, looking for the market to push into those levels. This is a nice market because if we do just take a quick look at that weekly time frame, look at the structure that we see in the market on the weekly is very deep into its uh, impulse phase and looks to be overextended. If we bring in a fib, I don't know whether any fibs line up with anything down in there, but the market has already surpassed a 127 extension at that point, um, You know, showing again that the market is overextended at that moment in time. So looking for a retracement move, Hopefully the risk on sentiment can creep back into the market, which will help our uh, Australian dollar gain strength and our selling of the safe haven, such as the Swiss franc. Um, so hopefully that comes back in, steps back in slightly, so we can get that impulse move, get our stops to break even as quickly as possible, and then watch the rest of the position ride. Okay, so thanks for watching this video update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more trading content. If you're watching on TradingView, give us a follow. Comment below. How would you trade Aussie Swiss? Thanks.